In this lesson, we look at discounts. Examples. A watch is reduced by 25%. What will it cost if it is marked originally at $130? Now, let's consider this. If it's reduced by 25%, 25% off, that means you actually pay 75%. All right, think about that. If, you, if the total price is 100%, you take 25% off, you're paying 75% of the normal price. So, and a way of writing that is a decimal is 0.75. Now, so the reduced price, paying 75%, which is 0.75, of the original price, 130. So it equals 0.75 times the 130, and when we calculate that, we get $97.50. Example 2. A pair of jeans has been reduced from $50 to $40. And we're asked to calculate the percentage discount. Well, firstly, percentage discount. Let's consider the actual discount firstly. It's gone from $50 down to $40. So that's a reduction or discount of $10. Now, the percentage discount. Well, to write the percentage discount, we need to think of as a fraction first, then we're going to times that by 100. So the fractional discount is $10 over the original price, $50, so 10 over 50. Then, changing a fraction to a percent, we times by 100. And then we calculate that, we get 20%. So 20% there is our percentage discount. Our third and final example of this lesson. At a sale of 15% off, Marie paid $59.50 for a dress. We're asked, what was the original price? Okay, now we don't know the original price. And when we don't know a starting point in these questions, we'll let that be called P in this case, or X or Y, whatever. But in this case, price, we'll call it P. Now, 15% off. Well, if we get a 15% discount, 15% off, off the original 100%, that means we're only paying 85%. All right, 15% off means you pay 85% of the original price. So, 85% of the original price, let's write that down, 85% of P, and that worked out to be $59.50. Now, we have an equation there, we can simplify that, that 85% of P, we can rewrite that as 0.85P. And on the right-hand side equals $59.50. So we need the P by itself. We're trying to find P. At the moment, it's being multiplied by the 0 0.85. So the opposite of that is to divide by 0 0.85. Make sure you do it to the other side as well. Then you can see then on the left-hand side, those 0 0.85s will cancel each other out. They're gone. So P by itself, excellent. P equals, and calculating that, $59.50 divided by 0 0.85 works out to be $70 exact. So therefore we write that the original price equals $70.